Now we're getting to the fun part. We are going to go over the creating your personalized edification videos. First step, step number one, you wanna record the video. Go to your home screen, scroll down to the bottom. Under my tools, you'll see a button or plus sign inside a circle that says add new media. All right, still on step one. Once you click on the little circle with the plus inside, we're under my tools. We're gonna click on add new media. And on the next screenshot, you should see that screen. It, we're gonna, it gives you four options, right? Video, image, PDF, and web page. For this example, we're gonna use video. The next screen, once we click on video that comes up is gives you two options. You can upload media, which will take, um, will allow you to upload a video that you may have previously recorded, um, or you can do a live video. So if you are um, on the add video screen and you're not seeing record video or even upload video, um, what may be happening is that your the app, um, your the app needs permission from your camera to um, allow it to access one access your photos and video that you previously used and to access um, the camera give you giving it the ability to record video so if anyone is having those issues you would go into your the settings of your telephone and um, give the app those permissions once you hit record You'll record a video, one that's longer than five seconds. Once you're finished, the next screenshot shows what will happen. It'll bring you to a new screen that asks for a title. And what we'll do right now is give you guys a few seconds to record a five to 15 second video just for practice. Okay, we are going to move on to the next set. <laughs> Now that we have our video recorded and we should have it titled down there under title, we're going to hit save and, or I'm sorry, next in the top right corner. And everybody sees that, everybody with me, thumbs up if you are, give me a one in the chat if you're good on that. Step two, we're gonna import the EDM media, meaning we're gonna import the video that we wanna to send to our prospects. So far, what we've done is we've created a little message to them. Here on the first screenshot, you're gonna click on, that should say media, down there where the red arrow is pointing, right? Click on that and then click on the little film strip that comes up That should that is video. At, we added the film strip, correct? Which brings up this next window screen where you should see your video at the top and then that little gray screen where you hit the plus sign next to the word add. What that's gonna do is allow you to choose the video that you wanna share with your prospect, the video that you told them you were gonna share with them. I have highlighted, of course, the seven minute video, because that's typically the most common that we um, send to prospects. Once you add the, click on the seven minute video to share, the title should be in this details panel here in gray on this first screen screenshot on the left, and then we'll hit save. It takes you back to where you can position your thumbnail, the little thumbnail. We have an exact have an exaggerated film strip here because just to let you know that's what that's what we're talking about. That's the the icon that you should see um, in on your video screen, right? So now everybody drag that film strip in position to where you either told your prospect to go or where you want it to go, and then we'll freeze there. Once you hit save, you've got your thumbnail in, in the correct place. You're gonna hit save in the top right. Once you hit save, that video armed with the seven minute video thumbnail should be down in your My Media or My Tools. Does everybody see that? Okay, so now, unless you personalized it with someone's name, 
that means you guys can keep this and you don't have to make another one. You can just continue to use this video. It's to yeah, totally generic. So you should be able to use that with, uh -oh, with all of your prospects. Now it's time to share it. So click on the video, the one, the new video you've added to your my tools, my media, and it should open up into um, this new window and click share in green. I'm gonna click share. And for the sake of this example, we're gonna share it to a contact. You can share it to your social media and you can copy a um, unique link and they will, and you can send it via email or text message to whoever you want. But the app does it for you. So there's really not much need for that. You can share it to a contact. I chose uh, Mr. Bean to see it work in action because you will be notified when that person clicks on the link, when that person watches the video. So send it to someone, uh, one of your QFDs, and um, so you'll know when they watched it. You can either add a contact, a new contact in your, in right here on the, on the screen by clicking the plus sign in the top right, or you can choose someone who's already in your phone. You can also search your contacts. Um, you can see this search bar back here and pull up your um, the contact you want to send it to. And then once you've done that, you want to click next. The next screen that'll come up is, um, is a screen where you can type in a message to that prospect. Type in a message for the text that they're about to receive. It's going to open up your phone's text system as if you are actually sending a text, which you are. And as you can see, it's got the message you just created. So take a look at this. And then it's got a URL to, it's a unique URL to the video you just created, letting your prospect know um, to, where to look at the video. Go ahead and fire it off to your QFD or someone who can call you back and say, hey, I just got this, even though you're going to see it on your phone. I know it's, it sounds, there's a lot of steps and it sounds kind of daunting, but it's really, it's really not. Um, and once you get the hang of it, it's like one of the best tools I've ever seen. I've had some success. I had a couple of people watch it this week. And matter of fact, two people watched it four times. So I've gotten back to them on last night. I just have to close it out, but they have been sharing it also with their family members. That's for all of you guys. Um, the, the best thing to do is to just tinker around. You can't hurt anything and you can, and, and just play with it. Send it to yourself or send it to a, a friend or a family member or, you know, your spouse, just say, Hey, I want to play around with this app real quick. I want to see all of the things that it does. You may get a couple notifications from me, um, that I've sent you some stuff. All right. So I click on the circle with the plus sign click on video. Here is a seven minute video that will definitely be worth your time. Go ahead and click the link right here and I will talk with you soon. Thank you. I'm going to hit save in the top right. All right. Once you put in your title, click next. Now you do have a video here. Now, again, I don't remember where I put. Hey there, we just met and the where I told them the thing was going to be, right? So I got to see. And I'm going to scrub. Now I see where it is. Right okay. here. Pause. So I'm going to click on media. And I'm going to click on the film strip. I'm going to add. Scroll down till I find the seven minute video. Which is create cash flow, three cash flow streams in seven minutes. Click on that. It shows here, I'm gonna click save. Now it's time to position. Click save and I'm going to drag the thumbnail to the general area where I said the video would be, right? Click save again and then save again in the top right. That video is now available. I'll click the video again. 
here is a seven minute video that will definitely be worth your time. Go ahead and click the link right here and I will talk with you soon. Thank you. Absolutely. I'm gonna send it to my, to the contact I always share to <laughs> when I'm testing. Next. Again, a title. What's better is a question, the red, blue, or green question. So which one of these three things should we tackle first? Sorry, y'all. And then it opens up my text thread. I'm going to hit send. So now you can still see my phone. And I should get a notification soon. And there we are. There it is. He viewed it. So now I'm in my feed in the app. Brian Bean watched seven minutes to change your life. 100% watched. He watched the whole thing. Yeah. And after a while, guys, it's it becomes second nature. Like I said, don't be afraid to go in there and tinker with stuff. Play around with it. You can't You can't harm it. The only thing you can do is get more experience. If you ever run into issues where your app is not working properly, there are three things you need to try before you contact support. One, you want to all when you lock, when you open your app, you always want to pull down um, and refresh to see any new content um, that we've added, anything like that, right? Any changes that you've made um, to your home screen, you'll be able to see them once you pull down to refresh. Also, you can click, like I told Mr. Turner, click more than settings and then all the way at the bottom, clear cache. It's going to log you out. So you just simply log back in and things should return to normal. Last option is to reboot your phone, but you wanna make sure you close out all of your open apps first. So it's, it's kind of like a hard reboot. And if that, if all, any one of those options or all three of them doesn't fix your issue, then I want you to fill out the form here at extradigitmovement.com forward slash app help. And make sure you guys give as much, give very detailed um, descriptions and information regarding your errors. It's going to ask you some questions, um, but the more information you can provide, the better the better we will be um, in getting those issues resolved.